Oh my. Oh my! Oh no, 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 you better shut. We gonna die! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, your boy, and we're back in the mix with more heavy rain. And look, I see all the comments, okay? Talking about, oh, Sean's gonna die. Sean's this, Sean's that. Sean is fine. Sean is fine. You guys just don't get. Yeah, we might have failed the electric boogaloo quest or whatever, but Sean is fine. I don't even think for a second that Sean's gonna die, because he's not. I mean, look, we got this girl, we got this guy, we got that other dude, we got big man. Sean is fine. All right, Ethan, let's find, let's, okay, we're gonna get out of here, Ethan, because the cops are coming. Come on, Ethan, let's, let's get you and your pinky out of here. Come on. Let's go, Ethan. Get out of here, you big dumb animal. Motion, motion controls, motion controls. We're good, dude. See, you just gotta. All right, let me get my hands up because I know we're gonna do some other motion control crap. There we go. Yeah, look at that motion control. Ethan, get up, man. Do you want to get out of here or not, Ethan? Come on. There we go. Let me move this monster oh, can shit. real quick. It's too hard. What do you mean? Just bolster them up with... I don't know. These boxes? Or... I don't know. These boxes or... This here? Come on. Ethan, you can help! Your pinky is fine! Ready on my go. Nah, you guys Stay need to chill. Here, Out of the question. I'm coming with you. No! Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. No! <sighs> Hurry up! Come on, let's go this way. Come on. Come on! Quicker! Quicker! Now close the window and act like you were never here. Close the window. Oh, no, no, no. No, nah, chill, chill. Don't come in. Hey, hey. Hey, you, don't move. I'll shoot. Come on, quick. Yeah, you can shoot this. I can't. Hands in the air. Shut up. There's a man and a woman exiting That's house. not even me! Shit! It's that girl who went in! What? Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! How are we? Oh, we're playing Frogger! Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Look at these, Ethan. <laughs> Look at these. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something. Sean is fine. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? I don't want to get angry with him. Let's just convince him. Hey, man, look. Listen. You've lost, Ethan. Lost what? what? Gain with one more victim. Oh, you think I'm the origami huh? killer, huh? He said, hey, I heard you say gammy. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him is to let me out of here. I agree with that. I'm the only person who can save him. That's true. Yeah, I mean, I'd be skeptical about it, but you know what? Okay. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. Well, he's on Roosevelt. Doesn't make sense, Ethan. Boulevard. Or <laughs> I love my son. I love my son. Jason! Sean! If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. That's true. Because he wouldn't die otherwise. Because if I was on the patrol, we would save him because Sean... He's fine. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. We don't know. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Some sewage drainer or something. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully. Can I sit down? Answer. I want to sit down. Where is Sean. All right, I guess I'll go back on the wall and that's fine. I told you I don't know. Blake, if you think Blake, what is wrong with you? Come on, asshole. He has no pinky. For a long time. Come on, come on, then, pussy. Let's see what you oh, oh, bitch, you made a mistake today. Die. I killed a man. I ain't afraid. Want to play games, asshole? Come on. Let's play a little game. You're out of your mind, Blake. This is gonna cost you your badge. You better get the hell out of here, Norman. Before I give in to the temptation to paint the walls with your fucking brains. Anybody see this? Y'all gonna leave him in her? Okay. That asshole has gone too far this time. Turn the camera on. That's not you. That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain Perry. That bastard is gonna beat a confession out of Mars. He just wants a culprit, even if it's the wrong guy. Yeah, this is bullshit. Hey, does anybody know where the captain is? Because I am pissed off. Is he in here? Why are you not in here? <laughs> this feels like a room that you would be in, maybe. If y'all don't do something, this man's gonna get shot in the neck. <laughs> Does anyone realize this? There's the captain's office. Move! I'm going in. Captain! Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Martin. Got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that low life a few bruises. Low life? You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. And I took out my gun! What are we gonna do? 
What happens if we don't take it? We took it last time. Sniff up. <laughs> I still don't know what this is. <laughs> You're good. Is he good? I don't think he's good. Oh my. This is like that Flash episode. Yeah, we're pretty good at this. <laughs> Here we go, baby! Professional piano man. Ooh. Hot sauce. This is what happens when we take the drug, we put the glasses on and start playing the piano. <laughs> What's up, Chavs? Your vodka, sir. Hey, I appreciate that, big dog. Thanks. Might give it to me in that glass, though. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Bro, you don't even know. My partner just took a gun out on me. Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. And was ready to kill me for it. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. Yes, thank you. That's exactly I what I was thinking. His father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Yeah, me neither. Mars is not the origami killer. He ain't the origami killer either. Take my life on it. Oh, that's good, because you probably will have to. <laughs> I am in the faintest fucking idea. Ooh, D. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. Yeah, that's maybe. That's what I was thinking of doing. I don't have any, because I, I skipped all of that. <laughs> One last thing, sir. That's good. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Very dangerous. You want the trip, though? I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Okay, so next time, click don't take it. Okay. I had to remember that. Well, I mean, what if we don't take it? Then do we die? Do we die anyways? Is everyone destined to die? Oh, I see. We're back <laughs> in the hill in, in the village of the sand. I see. All right, so let's look at the clues we got here in this big ass box. Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like there's something new. No oh, good. A video recording from near the park on the afternoon showing Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. That's true. That's true. All right, dude. What are you gonna do with it? We're gonna analyze it. Do 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 do. Yep. Don't like that. Well. Bunch of cars, yes. Oh, wait a minute, what's a this? Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite Ooh. direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Wait Mars a minute, not the Malibu. Could it be the killer's car? Yes, actually. I, if I remember correctly, the car we got. Oh, no, they're going to. <clears throat> really? We can't geo analysis this? Well, bummer. All right, let's go over to the car. To the car. No, the car, not the tracks. We already seen the tracks. I want to go to the car. The Malibu. Uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Well, we can analyze it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Philip D. Campbell. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Okay. Not enough evidence. Great, perfect, wonderful. Can we get a geoanalysis of this? <sighs> Garbage. We need new glasses. And maybe a new glove. I think everything else we pretty much... Well, I don't think we've done the orchid. Did we do the orchid? Hmm. I 
common species. That doesn't help much. Oh, I see Jackson Neville's uh, thing over there. Where are these grown? Holy. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Oh, perfect. Alright, so let's go over to uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. the origami. 250 grams? Do -do 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 -do. Make sure you analyze it double over. Mm hmm. You ain't got nothing to say about this? You ain't got the 5% resin? Where could this come from? Paper. Dunder Mifflin. Scranton. Found it! Okay, so nothing. Did you check the Michael Scott Paper Company? Yes. Probability 96%. We've already looked at this, but, you know, throw it up there, anyways. Why not? You know, we got the glasses and the glove out. Why not? All right, Mr. Jackson. Jackson Neville, AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Yeah, that's not a bad lead, though. That's not a bad lead. Did you geo-analysis the situation so we can see what's going down? How are we ever gonna... We didn't geo-analysis the situation. <sighs> that's not thorough. You're an FBI agent. You have a magic glove. Ludwig Vaughn! <laughs> Got no idea what that means, but we out here. Things change. I appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, glasses are off. You know it's about to get crazy. We should probably talk to Blake about the whole uh, trying to kill me situation. That was pretty brutal. My gut feeling is that Mars is innocent and I gotta get him out of here. I gotta find some way to get Ethan Mars out of here. Even if there's only a one in a thousand chance he's telling the truth, he may still be able to save his son. Thank God someone understands here. He may be guilty. He's acting odd, his statements are all confused, and heck, he never said he wasn't the origami killer. Oh, pinstripe suit, dude. I should Mars consult confess. my superiors. Maybe. <sighs> no, not no, yet. That's stupid. He lost consciousness. I gotta handle this on my own. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He lost than consciousness. Than it's none of my business. If Perry and Blake think Mars is the not, killer, crack. what can I do about it? They all do. No, no, In no. Case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. One hour? It'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait till we actually got his confession? No point. We've got oh my. dead to right. That's all the press wants to know. <sighs> Bruh, did y'all really gotta lay him out like a mattress? Y'all really hit him with the Batista bomb in here, like... Has he confessed? <laughs> Not yet. I see. Leave us alone. I, uh, Lieutenant Blake said to. Can I take out my gun? Leave us alone. Right. Uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Okay. Well, you should probably go to that press conference, dude. And just leave us alone. We're good, dude. We're good, man. Christ, are you all right, Ethan? Yeah, we're, dude. I'm good. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna help you up, okay? Here we go with the buttons, dude. With the buttons, dude. There we go. Right, sit down, you're good. I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. I know, we're gonna work on it. We're gonna figure something out. I'm not exactly sure what we can do. Gotta find some way to get rid of the guard if I want to free Mars. I gotta find some way to get him through the police station undetected. Let's see here. What's the way we can do it here? Shit! What am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a ten-year stretch. There should be officers' raincoats all over the place. Gotta find one and give it to Mars. Right, let's see if we can find a raincoat. What's up, bruh? Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. What are you looking at? 
Oh, dummy. First, get rid of the cuffs. Oh, I didn't know that was first. <laughs> there should be officers' raincoats all over the place. I didn't know that was Gotta first. Find one and give it to Mars. Hey, you good, bro? Okay, first off, I'm getting the raincoat. He said first off for that, but I'm getting the raincoat first. I feel like we should get the raincoat first. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. There we go. Okay. Get my damn handcuffs. Well, here's the raincoat. Keys are on his desk. Well, what does that even mean? I don't see no damn keys. <laughs> okay. I don't see no damn keys. First, get rid of the cuffs. First, get rid of the cuffs. Where is his desk? I'm guessing it's the part is the desk without a person on it, right? Is this your desk on me? Is this your desk? Maybe he meant on the actual desk. Maybe I can just go in there. Maybe we should try that. You got a banana right there, bro? What you holding on to? Let's just try to go in there first. Take him the gimmick. So, what's up, bro? Ethan, put this on. You might be able to get by them without being noticed. Oh, shit, the handcuffs. I forgot about that. Okay, hold tight. <sighs> First, get rid of the cuffs. I didn't forget about it. I just didn't see nothing. He said on his desk, but I don't know where you work, bro. Oh, there he works right there. Gotcha. Okay. Now that we got that, let's head on back. Look, dude, we got... Hey, hey, hey! We got this, dude. What's up, bro? That's it. You're free. Hey, yeah, calm down, bro. I'm trying to help you. Put this on. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. I turned the camera off, so everything's good. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. Say thank you. I, Just say you're I appreciate say you. Son. Yeah, Sean. He's fine, dude. Oh, I will. Blake didn't notice that. Hey, that worked out okay. It might have took a little, little, little longer time than I expected it to take because, uh, you know, the directions weren't exactly straightforward. But, hey, at the end of the day, my man's out. Wise guy trophy earned. What can I say? Less I'm a genius. An hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Origami. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim, Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed on the run. and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. No pink. Yeah, wasn't there a fourth one of these? Hey. I brought some food. Oh, good. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. Me neither. There's a teeth, dude. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. Country? I don't know about all that. You're the origami killer. Gammy. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I don't know. 
Honestly. I trust her. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I don't know, because... Look, let me show you these pieces of paper. You've seen I it. You looked at it. We looked at it. Testing, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. <laughs> hey! That electric boogaloo trial. How's it going? Police. And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. Got something to say back there? You can't keep going like this. No, oh, I know. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. No. I know. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. This man's hands like this, like you're destroying yourself. I know. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Okay. Few hours. Hmm. Okay. Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. Get out of here, you big dumb animal! If you want to help me, leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. We need you here. Do this Stay here. Own. Stay here, baby. Funny story, by the way. YouTube demonetized my video yesterday when I tried to make the title of it Electric Boogaloo. I had to change the title to something else. I did, just for the record. I tried to name it Electric Boogaloo. They did not let me do that. Well, that went great. I guess we'll get up with our pinky. Look at that. When we sit on the bed, our feet don't even touch the floor. Hey, <laughs> short little dude. I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. I swear to God, Sean. The box. I have to open another origami figure. Do you really want to after the whole electric boogaloo thing? I gotta find my son before it's too late. Look, dude, Sean is fine. He's fine. Sean is fine. Watch the killer be like the mom. You are supposed to protect our sons. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver, 6784 long. That'll kill him. Send a picture. Get your reward. Kill this. You want me to kill Brad Silver? Oh, that's why we got the gun, huh? Hey! 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 He didn't even think twice about it. His ass was out the door. Hey, I'm just saying. If my man's ready to shoot, he's ready to shoot. Oh, Mr. Scott, we didn't even talked to this dude in about 200 years. I almost forgot you even existed for a minute, buddy. We're going to need you to get into the mix here. We're going to need you to start saving people, huh? You're a cop yourself, huh? You better get into the mix. Private investigator, you better figure something out. Ooh. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how a place like this stays in business. You sell clocks. You sell one like once every six months. Like Manfred. Manfred, get Manfred. your old ass out here, because I know you old. Because ain't no young person selling Glocks. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? It's me. Scott. Your boy. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? 
This is Scott. Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, 20 minutes. About 10 years, I guess. Oh. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. What do you mean? At your age, time means everything. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Hi. Hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. Does it, though? I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here. Bro, you need somewhere. to be drinking a gallon of water a day. One pound of hamburger, one sweet potato. Like, you better figure yourself out, bro. Uh oh. Nothing much changed here. Do an old man of Just the dust in the clock is ticking on. Call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Is this a crusty crab? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Yeah, this clock thing is driving me nuts. Thanks. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. This thing is driving me nuts. How do you do wow. this, old man? How? To old friends. Uh oh, sure, bro. I feel like if I was standing, if I had one of those standing desks and I was standing up, this would be easier to do the motion controls. I ain't gonna drink no more. What do you like think I am a drunk? A look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No. Yeah. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. <sighs> look, party's over, Grandpa. Just figure out what it says. This is the bathroom, Grandpa. What are you doing, old man? Get me out of here. I need to get the magnet. Oh, it's behind that de- You got so many deaths in here, Grandpa. How am I supposed to figure out what's going on? All right, let me grab this real quick. All right. Now take this. Because God forbid. And you got glasses on, but okay. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. This is going to be me reading manga when I'm 85 years old. Mm -hmm. Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. That's a, yeah, you're pretty smart, aren't you? 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Well, thank you, Manfred. I appreciate that. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Well, that sucks. Okay. That's going to make this a little harder. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Where is that man? If you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Ooh. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Oh, look at this dude. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. Two minutes? You think I got all day? You think the killer's been here? Maybe. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. Maybe, yeah. We'll know when we get the list. You really like that, don't you? Why don't you buy it? God, if this cl can we get out of here, please, please. 
Oh my goodness. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. Yeah, you ain't freaking kidding. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's just take a look. I swear to God, if he died on the way to his office, bruh, you have got to be kidding. If you don't walk, you're old. Hello? Manfred. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? What just happened? Oh my god. He's dead. Oh god. What? Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go. What? How in the. Oh no. The origami killer is Spider Man. He's gone rogue. Oh my god. I know. That's what I'm saying. How did this happen? Calling the police. Chill. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? We leave. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. There's everything we here. touched? No! I already forgot everything I touched! Christ! Okay, well, you better wipe his eyes, because... Okay, um... We touched the phone. Okay, we touched the phone. Okay. There we go. Uh, we touched. Uh, we touched all of this. We touched that. We touched that. There we go. Did we touch the Scott Spinal? I don't remember. You know what? I'm gonna wipe this off too. There we go. And just in case, I'm gonna wipe this off too. Cause I don't know. Okay, we touched this. What else did we touch? Hold on, Lauren. We touch the door handle over here. Do we have to do anything with that? Oh no, I touched the door handle. I just want to yeah, make sure we get that because I touched that. I touched the hell out of that door handle. All right, here we go. Got that. Um, what else did we touch? Did we touch? We touched his eyes. I still think we gotta wipe that off, but it didn't look like it. Um, we gotta touch this. No, I don't think so. Police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all we touched. I mean, we touched his shoulder, but I mean, I don't. I think that's it. All right, we good. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints. I think. <laughs> I got what I got. <laughs> enough to prevent them from finding us. Maybe. Come on, let's go. Fuck! No! The one. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Ah! Yes, he went to get something in his office. Why? I forgot about the white phone. I for I remember the door, but I forgot about the police phone. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I 
just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yo, coot. Wasting time here at the police station because I forgot to wipe one damn phone off. Well, I remember well, to. Scott Shelby. Is that Blake? In trouble again? Shut up back there. Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. Mm -hmm. You want anything at the moment? Blake. Yeah, I ain't got nothing for you. Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it, will you, Scott? Sure. Sure. Hey! <laughs> The one phone you've Taking got to home. be kidding me. Way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Okay. You're gonna be a good girl. You're gonna go home and let me get on with my investigation. You're gonna be a good girl, bruh. Stop the car. Stop the fucking car. Oh my. Oh my! Oh no, 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 you better shut. Bitch, we gonna die! We got motion. You we're gonna die! You have lost your mind! You have lost your mind! Putting me into motion controls, you have lost your mind. No! Now you gonna let now she's gonna die. This is all this is on you, bro. Run her over. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. She's just right there. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. I don't know what you're doing, to be honest with you, bro. Come on. Hey, come on now. Laura. Get back in the car. You good? What the hell's going on here? It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. This girl's stubborn. Miss him. Miss him so much. Why is she? Why does her face look like a you whopper that just came off the grill? Once again in my arms. Caress? Is that what one of the options just said to caress her? I'm sorry. Huh. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Hey, get back in the car. We'll figure this out. It's your bell bottom jeans. Max and Easter. The damn phone, man. I cannot believe what I have seen with my eyes. The phone. The freaking phone. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? The phone. Bruh. Oh, we about to shoot my boy in the neck with a knife. It's a gun that shoots knives. You ready to die, homie? You ready to die? He's ready to die. What's up, bro? Yeah. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies. In. I kill you. <laughs> take it easy, man. Huh? Whoa, just Keep take cool. it easy, man. <laughs> what do you want? Nope. Money? Tell me what you need. Sure, we can make a deal. I need Sean. 
cow, what the hell? Holy shit! <laughs> that was a lot of bullets. Okay, here we go. Where'd he get the shotgun? Oh, let me get my hands up just in case motion control is coming to play. I don't want to kill you, dude. Hey, but I'll let the shit spray. What's that little bed for, homie? Is he a pedophile? What's going on here? You're kind of messing your own house up. How many shots you got in this shotgun? Oh, I was about to say! Kill shot! Kill shot! Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. You just tried to kill me. I got dope. I got cash. You, you want some dope? No! Please. I want Sean! Please don't kill me, man. I got children. Or are you a pedophile? My girls, see. This one's Sarah. Mm hmm. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. <laughs> I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I got kids too. Jason, Sean, and Billy, this gun! I'm a father too. But I have no choice. <laughs> <sighs> Had to be done. <sighs> Alright, the guy's dead. Look, man, he just sold guns and dope. The world's a better place without him anyways. I love how we can literally find all this stuff if we just took like an extra second to think about it. Oh, here we go again. I don't even know how we're gonna find this, to be honest. Like, we, we failed the one, the electric boogaloo. My God, okay. My balloon. You're good, Sean. Hey, just take it easy. Okay, now what about the letters? Eight is Roosevelt Road. Eight five two. Man, that's a lot of letters missing from the electric boogaloo. We ain't even close. Eight five two uh, six nine. How many numbers are in this street name? Is it like eight? Oh, you better clean that up, bro. They're gonna know that's you. You threw up all over the floor. You think they can't find DNA off that? You puked all over the floor. They ain't your kids, anyways. Those are my kids now. Talking about, ooh, these my kids. Let me tell you where my kids are. Okay, one's dead, one's about to die. All right. I've been a killer. What you mean? Matt, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Oh, okay. Of course. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, everyone. I thank you for watching. Watching this video, I thought something just happened. I was like, "Oh, does that just change angles?" Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. A hey, young Billy out here making it happen. <laughs> Remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. More of that goody goody, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Heavy Rain.
Sí.